Hello there, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this impromptu video. Now, before we get into the topic of this video, which is hairspray, I do want to just say upfront that my thoughts and prayers are with all those in Turkey and Syria. Just horrible what devastation has occurred there with these earthquakes. And I wanted to point that out because the topic of today's video is going to seem very trivial in light of what is going on over there and a lot of other big things that are going on in the world. So I just want to mention that up front because I don't want you to think that I'm completely out of touch with reality and you're like, Shirley, let's get a life. Who cares about our hairspray? <laughs> but on the other side, I do know that so many of you follow my recommendations. You have purchased products that I've recommended, and I feel like it is important to give you an update when my recommendations have changed. And so that is the reason for this video going up quickly because the day that all of us Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray fans have dreaded for years has actually come. Recently, several of you reached out to me and said, Shirley, I got a new bottle of Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray. Something's wrong. It's not the same. The formula is not the same. My hair doesn't feel the same. It's really wet. It's not drying. And I had not personally bought a new bottle of Aussie because last summer it started disappearing from the shelves. And so my best friend in Colorado, she was like, Shirley, I can't find it. What's happening? So I started hoarding it. If I found it at Walmart and I would just find one bottle on the shelf, I would buy it. And so I am actually on my last bottle of the old formula. So I had not yet purchased this new package, this new can. So when I initially got these emails, these messages, I went on the Aussie website and on there, all they show is a picture saying new look and the ingredient list I went through item by item and the ingredients on their website for Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray are identical to the old can. So initially I was like, I don't know, maybe you just got a bad bottle, maybe you're applying too much. And then I started getting more comments. And then I received a comment from somebody who's been using this hairspray even longer than I have. And she said, Shirley, something's happened. And she sent me a picture of the ingredients on her bottle. And she said, the first ingredient is water. And I said, what? So I promptly purchased a new bottle from Target, came home today, and tried it on my hair and oh my word, like my hair, it just, it feels horrible first of all. But when I sprayed it on and I only did just short little bursts, I didn't do it all over my hair. I did it in a few places and I kept touching the hair and no joke, it took over 30 seconds to dry. And then when it dried, I had no definition, no hold. So I pulled out my old hairspray and sprayed that a few little places and it was dry in like seven seconds. So first of all, I knew right away the dry down, the hold, and now how it feels on the hair. Oh, my hair feels terrible in the spots that I used this other hairspray. I knew something was wrong. So I promptly called Aussie and talked to a wonderful, helpful customer service rep. I told her my concerns. And first of all, I said, um, did you change the formula and why? And so this was the official response. Yes, the formula was changed. She said there was botanical simplification. She said, like for example, jojoba seed oil. And then she said, and also for responsible beauty compliance so that we can say that we are cruelty free, uh, PETA certified, all of these things, recyclable, good for the environment, all those things. And then she said the real question of why they did that, why they made those changes is because they wanted to use some of the latest scientific developments and use different ingredients that would give the same amount of hold without compromising like the health of your hair, the environment, all those things. I said, well, let me tell you, 
they failed. <laughs> so she took detailed notes of what my complaints, what my specific complaints are about the dry down, about just how it does not hold the hair anymore. And so she said she will be filing that complaint officially. And she said, you know, we do take all of these reviews, all of these calls into consideration and they will do investigations. So my follow-up question to her was, okay, so what can I have my followers do, fans of this product who have loved it and are now feeling like I am, we hate the new product and we're not actually going to be buying this product anymore. I said, what can we do? And she said, well, you can email us, you can call us. She said also you can you know, put reviews on their website, on their social media channels. So for those of you who first of all have wondered if this new formula has changed, if it's different, yes, it has changed and I no longer recommend this hairspray at all. It's horrible. It's, it's worse than uh, half a dozen others that I can just rattle off the top of my head. So I no longer am going to be recommending this hairspray. It pains me to say that. And I'm hoping that with all of the feedback from you all, from other consumers that have loved and used this hairspray for years, I'm hoping that Aussie will take it into consideration. As I was reading through the new reviews on Aussie's website, people who have purchased this product within the last month, they were all saying the exact same thing. And the response back from Aussie, of course it was kind of a canned response, but in essence it was saying, the fact that you're saying that your hair is staying wet, you know, too long, it's not holding, that should not be happening. So apparently, I don't know, you and I weren't given the opportunity to try this new formula to say, um, no, this is not the same. You would think that they could do a simple test like I did today of spraying one in your hair and then spraying the other and seeing how long it takes for the new formula to dry, but they didn't apparently do that or they didn't think we would mind the extra dry time. So all that being said, I will leave the customer service number down below and the website that you can go to if you're interested in leaving your feedback. Be kind because, you know, obviously the customer service people, they're not the ones who made this decision. But I definitely wanted to hop on here real quick because like I said, I have recommended this product for seven years here on my channel and I've used it a lot longer than that. And and so I do not want any of you spending even $5 on a horrible can of hairspray. And just know that I am going to be testing some new hairsprays now that I know that we have to replace it. I do personally feel like the Bedhead Mega Hard Hold Hairspray, I did a video about that. I'll link that down below. I feel like that is a good alternative, but it does come at a much higher price tag. So like I said, this is normally, I think this is now $5. It used to be under four and the bed head is easily 18 to $20. So that is definitely more expensive, but that is the closest formulation to the old Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray that I know of personally. So a sad day. And as I mentioned at the beginning, I know there are a lot greater things to be sad and distressed over. So again, I do not want to trivialize those things, but because this channel is based on beauty and hair and all of that, I know that many of you benefit from my recommendations. So I definitely wanted to give you a heads up. This is the old packaging. So if you see a can like this still around that has alcohol denat as the first ingredient, this is the one that you want to pick up. If you see this one, run far away. Now the follow-up mystery that was not resolved in my call is why the ingredients list on the Aussie website still shows as the old ingredients. So she said she was going to put that down as a note and have them look into that. And as I was looking through the ingredients on the new hairspray, I literally, I was Googling these ingredients, trying to see if these are just so much better for our hair than what was in here. And let me tell you, they're not. <laughs> and furthermore, they did actually remove the jojoba seed oil and the alfalfa leaf extract that were in here. And I'm like, 
um, those are actually good things for our hair. Um, so those were actually taken out. So I just, in under, trying to understand why they made these changes, I am not seeing it evidenced by the ingredients that they actually put in here. So I'm not a scientist or a chemist, but that's my best understanding of what the changes are. And as I mentioned, what the customer service rep told me of why they made those changes. So be sure you stay tuned because you can bet there are going to be a lot of new hairspray trials coming up as we look for a replacement for our longtime favorite hairspray. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.